Hey guys, now I have never seen anything so special or weird depending on how you look at this. This is a modular mechanical keyboard called the Everest Max made by a company called Mountain. Now, I'm so used to chiclet style keyboards, short travel keys on small keyboards that save on space. Apple's Magic Keyboard is a great example of that. These mechanical keyboards though, they emphasize comfort and customizability. And as far as how much you can customize the Everest, it simply is hard to beat. And it goes way beyond just being able to customize the LED backlights on a per key basis. Like I said, it's modular and it comes with accessories that you can fit depending on what works for you. For example, this media dock, which comes with playback buttons and an LCD dial. It displays useful information like PC stats, date, time. You can even use this as a volume dial if you want. This snaps right in either the left or the right side. There's a numeric keypad also. It comes with physical shortcuts to your favorite apps, basically buttons with backlit LCDs that displays the app's logo so you can know which is which even in the dark. You can even choose your own graphic if you prefer. This right here is a lifesaver because I don't have to go to the start menu or desktop anymore. Just press this button and out comes the app. Again, it snaps right in, left or right. If you want to change the elevation of the keyboard, you can do so with these metallic feet that snaps right into place with magnets. You can also change the keycaps and switches. Now, these are standard Cherry MX switches, some of the most popular switches among gamers, and each color gives a different click, a different feel when you type on them. For example, the red ones, the ones applied with this keyboard, feel like they have more cushion. It's single travel, so there's no click in between, but when you change them to the blue ones, it feels more clicky. Mountain provides one switch of each particular color, so you can experiment, see which one you prefer, and swap the switch of one of your keys. I use the blue one for the spacebar because I really like the contrast it gives compared to every other key here on this keyboard, which uses red switches. Every time I hit the spacebar, there's a bit more feedback and a different sound, which I really like. Of course, if that's what you prefer, you can also change every single key on this keyboard to use blue switches, brown switches, or whatever the case may be. You just have to buy a whole set of one specific color. But what really is the heart of the whole thing here is the Basecamp app. This is where you can get right in there and really fine tune your experience. For example, you can create your own RGB lighting scheme, sync it up with Razer Chroma, assign macros, set your shortcuts, even set your preferred graphic to the LCD dial. This literally is your command center for the Everest Max. So yes, this is one of the most customizable keyboards and after using this for work and gaming, well, here are my thoughts. Now, I feel that the Everest Max is very comfortable to type on. Mechanical keyboards like these ones feel like the ones I used back when I first learned to type. That's gotta be like 25, 27 years ago. That soft and deep key travel is so satisfying, completely different from chiclet style keyboards. Takes a bit getting used to because after typing on chiclets for so long, my fingers are now so lazy, not gonna lie. Even now, it takes a lot of effort to raise my fingers high enough to type properly on mechanical keyboards. I also love how I can instantly call up my most frequently used apps. It's become something I use all the time because I'm a very lazy person by nature. So I'm attracted by anything that saves me time and effort. However, there are three things I don't quite like about the Everest Max. For example, 
it is a very big keyboard. It will take up space, so if you have a small desk or your table is cluttered, just bear in mind that this keyboard needs some extra space, some extra real estate, especially with all the accessories attached. This is also a wired keyboard. Not a big deal for desktop setups, but to me, this is actually a limitation because sometimes I do connect my laptop to a big TV and I work from my couch far away from the keyboard, which isn't convenient with wired keyboards. So it would have been nice if this keyboard had a built-in battery with Bluetooth connectivity. And finally, Basecamp. Yes, it's a nice app that adds a lot of value with more features and settings, but with the most recent software update 1.1.3, I am no longer able to customize the RGB keys on a per key basis. In fact, the last RGB pattern that I painstakingly crafted was just wiped away for no reason. So when I select custom settings in the lighting menu, it's all blank. Maybe this is something Mountain can fix in a future software update, but also Basecamp is a RAM hog. My laptop only has like 16 gigabytes of RAM. So if I run big games or VR, while having Basecamp running in the background, it just eats into my laptop's performance, which is not optimal. Of course, if your PC's got more RAM than mine, it's not gonna have as much of an impact, but hey, I'm just a messenger. My laptop says how. But overall, I really enjoyed using the Everest Max. It's different from any other keyboard I've used, weird and quirky in some ways, but yes, I did enjoy the typing experience and the shortcuts made possible by this keyboard. To be honest, I am a little sad that I have to return this keyboard because I've gotten used to that shortcut thingy. Maybe someday I might buy this keyboard for real. Hopefully by then a wireless version will be available. But in the meantime, I will be looking at more keyboards and PC gadgets. So if you like this video and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit subscribe and tap the bell button to stay notified of new content from me. This is my first keyboard review, so smash like to support or hit thumbs down if you feel that I could have done anything better. Of course, let me know in the comments so that I know what you think. Also, a big shout out to these legends who support this channel by contributing a dollar or more per month to the crowdfunding website, Patreon. If you want to be a legend too, it's very simple. All you gotta do is to support my work on Patreon. That is a great way to help keep this show going and you gain some pretty cool rewards along the way like being credited at the end of every video. So link is in the box down below if you want to help support. I've also got a Discord server. Do join if you want to hang out or just chat. More videos coming up soon so don't go away.